Okay, so it's come to my attention that I left off some very important people on my last vlog, which is about heterosexual life partners, aka the best BFFs ever. So, I have a list of every BFF that I left off that I should have mentioned. First and foremost, it came to my attention via Shaban that, oh my god, how could I have left these guys off? Hugh Laurie and Stephen Fry. I am so ashamed of myself. Siobhan, I apologize. I apologize most sincerely. I don't know how in the hell I forgot Hugh and Stephen because they are awesome and they are the definition of epic BFFs. I don't even know where my brain was. I could have sworn that I had them listed on my sheet and then apparently I didn't and then I forgot them and I didn't list them and I apologize. Oh my gosh, Hugh Laurie and Stephen Fry are epic. Not only have they co-starred in a variety of things, including Jeans and Wooster, which is another pair of BFF heterosexual life partners, you know, uh, Bertie Wooster and Jeeves, um, but they also co-wrote all of A Bit of Fry and Lori, they were in Blackadder together, they're just epic. And I really wish that it would be possible to have a house slash bones crossover, because I think if Stephen Fry reprised his role as Gordon and then, you know, of course, had to go and analyze House, I think that would be the most hilarious thing ever. And I just love Hugh and Stephen together. They're amazing. And I don't even know how I forgot them. I apologize, Siobhan. I don't even know. Next on the list, Han and Chewie from Star Wars. How did I forget them? I mean, they're awesome. Similarly, R2-D2 and C-3PO, because true friendship knows no bounds. Humans aren't the only ones that can have heterosexual life partners, man. Even flamboyant gold gay robots and little beeping trash cans can be BFFs. Uh, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, obvious mishap on my part, you know, to forget them. Joey and Chandler from Friends. Now, to be fair, I had written them down on the list, and then I just decided not to mention them. I don't even know. I guess I decided I didn't have enough time. But Joey and Chandler, definitely BFFs right there. Even though Chandler did go off to get married to Monica, Joey and Chandler were definitely BFFs. I mean, their apartment and their chairs and all of their goofiness, I mean, they were definitely BFF heterosexual life partners. Cable and Deadpool. How did I forget Nate and Wade? How? I don't even know. I don't even know. I apologize most sincerely to all of my fellow Deadpool fangirls out there. I don't... Nate and Wade are, are meant to be together forever. Similarly, I think Wade and Bob. Because, I mean, Deadpool always needs his little punching Bob. Aziraphale and Crowley from Good Omens. Thank you, Meg, for, Megan, for pointing this out to me. I totally should have remembered. Aziraphale and Crowley are, I mean, they're obviously heterosexual life partners, with the added bonus of being immortal heterosexual life partners. They've been together since basically the creation, and they're going to be together for the rest of it, probably. I love Aziraphale and Crowley together, in large part because Crowley is such a flash bastard, and Aziraphale is such a, how do they put it in the book? He seemed gayer than a tree full of monkeys on nitrous oxide. That's a good way to describe him. Uh, even though I have not, sadly, watched The Middleman yet, I know, I know, it's on my list. I should have mentioned it in my TV show's Angie Must Watch vlog because it's on the list. Wendy Watson and Lacey Thornfield because uh, apparently they're awesome BFFs and they are... Uh, also some ladies, so to bring some estrogen to the list. And then two other BFF heterosexual life partners that I should have remembered, just on my own. Special Agent Aloysius Pendergast and Detective Vincent D'Agosta from the Douglas Preston Lincoln Child series. If you haven't read the Lincoln Child books, Lincoln Child Douglas Preston books yet, you have to. They start with Relic, go on to Reliquary, and then from there on, the Eloatius Pendergast books just take off, and they're, they're incredible. Special Agent Pendergast is one of my favorite characters in all of lit, and I just love how he plays off of Degasta. They're great together. And J.J. Abrams and Grunny, Greg Grunberg. 
they've been friends forever, and Greg has always made appearances, even if it's only for a short time, in J.J.'s works. And I really hope that he gets an on-screen part in the next Star Trek movie, and I hope that J.J. is back to actually direct it, because it would be awesome if he was. Um, so yeah, J.J. and Greg, they totally are heterosexual life partners, too. So those were some of the people that I missed, the most glaring omissions from the list. Uh, I hope that I've appeased some people, and if you have any others, throw them my way, man. See ya.